What is up guys? We are getting ready to go for a little ride in the Razor because it just rained for two days. It didn't rain two days straight, but two mornings in a row, we had a pretty good rain. So there's like no dust. So it's like the perfect time to ride. It's like 68, 69 degrees today. There's actually puddles. Well, they're almost gone, but there was some pretty good puddles after it rained. It rained pretty good. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, it's nice. So yeah, we're gonna go just head to, I think, Q Mountain. Maybe try to climb, but I just wanna get a little view of the big tent and stuff. We don't really care to go there. Been there, done that. It's, it's overrated. be uploading this video with some nomad internet if you guys need some high speed unlimited mobile wi-fi there's a link in the video description and let's go have a little fun you guys can see this in the gopro but rv roofs you can see them like way back all pretty much all the way to those mountains back there and then the, and then it gets kind of clustered and then it spreads out again then it gets clustered spreads out clustered but it literally starts way down there and goes all the way back to about there and this is just one side of town. All right, we're back. That was fun. 
it was just a short ride it's not too far we was going maybe an hour hour and a half something like that you know you don't always have to go for a long time I actually like the shorter ones you know the razor seat and the shocks and everything on this rough terrain it's not the softest it isn't horrible but you can't stand up like on a quad or a dirt bike or anything you're you're sitting there bumps and all so look before we took off mike ran over our fire pit he didn't know it was there he was parked next to us getting ready to take off it was funny I don't know. I'm going to eat me some food. We're going to hang out here because today is just, it's perfect today. So, yeah, we're going to enjoy it. Maybe put the awning out, watch some TV outside. Sounds pretty good. Okay, we're about done with Quartzsite. We've had a lot of fun. This last ride was fun. Sometimes we just go on short rides, but it is time to move on. Yep. We've had a good time while we were here. It's flown by because having a truck, it's such a different experience. There's a lot to see and check out. Yeah, and it's pretty easy for her to like run up to Parker to go to Walmart. Or we can run down to Blythe and pick things up that you can't get in court site. A lot of things you can get here, but it's definitely easier having the truck to run up to town because every day isn't super warm here. Right. Usually when, but not always a lot of wind just enough to make it a little chilly on a 60 degree day we've met a lot of really great people out here this year yes. we've made some really great friends if you stop by and said hi to us we're not going to name every name because we had a lot of a lot of people stop yeah, by i can't remember every name i'm not very <laughs> good with names you have to say it more than one time a lot of people we met one time and talked right. to for you know two hours and sometimes another couple would show up like right after we talked to someone for two hours and then we talked to them for two hours so like we get things a little mixed up yeah, sometimes th thing kind of, <laughs> things get a little mixed up we've, but we've made some great new friends it's been a lot of fun and thank you to everybody who stopped by it was awesome to get to meet yes. you and if we inspire your journey and you're living a happy life that makes it all worth it yep exactly and some of you that have stopped by have been doing this a lot longer than we have but yep. and you still watch us for some reason <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool yeah also our neighbors and friends mike and mindy they've been next to us pretty much the whole winter yeah we've had a good time with them they are awesome it's been easier being away from family having someone close that i can go do things with yeah that's what i'd like to do at home with my family so it's it's made it a much more enjoyable winter having our shopping friends close. and browsing. Yes, Candace's his favorite thing. <laughs> it's been a lot yeah. of fun. But yeah, we know most of our subscribers that have been with us for a while they're kind of tired of seeing Courtsite, and I get it. I'm kind of tired of seeing Courtsite myself. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I am a little bored. You know, we can drive and, and see things that we haven't really seen before, but. I'm not really into leaving the RV out here and driving, you know, two and three hours away. I would rather just take my whole house and just move closer to things that we would like to do. Yeah. So basically that's what we're going to do soon. But our summer plans, we're not really going to, well, I don't know. We're Should we just say it? Yet. Let's just do it. I mean, they could change, but. Okay. All right. This isn't set in stone. Anything can happen, but. We're leaning towards hanging out on the East Coast this summer. Yes. Checking out some amusement parks. There's a lot of them out there. And then also getting to just check out the area and new states. We're going to have so many new states this summer. Yes. This is like our first time really going to the East Coast, to the coast. We're going to probably do like Virginia Beach and some things like that. I want to see some really pretty beaches this summer. You know, it's, it's summertime, so... Yeah. But definitely some amusement parks, and we would like to go all the way to the very top to Maine, but I don't know how far we'll make it this summer, you know, I, don't, I just don't know. We have some plans on like how we're going to, how we're going to camp and things. Things are going to be a little different this summer, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to bring you a lot of really cool content, and usually we just go and figure it out as we go. This summer will be a little more planned. We will have RV parks and things already reserved. 
so we'll kind of know where we're going yeah each time we're not really going to be wandering looking for boondocking spots there's not a lot of boondocking on the east coast yeah, so we're going to have to plan it out a little bit more carefully than we normally do. And that doesn't mean that we're going to continue to always do it that way. No. How we travel and how we camp and have fun is going to change throughout the years. Yeah. Hopefully we'll always have this channel and be able to share it with you guys. But how we travel isn't always going to be the same. You know, yeah. we've since we've been on the road, we've done lots of boondocking. You know, we've looked into a few other ways of doing things, and especially the East Coast. Like he said, there's just not a lot of opportunity to do that kind of camping. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just have to roll with the punches and... Yeah. To see the things we want to yeah. see and go to the places we want to go, we have to do RV parks, which a lot of you don't care. We'll bring you cool content. It doesn't really matter where we stay, but a lot of you do stay in RV parks, so we will show you the RV parks that we go to. We are kind of leaning towards getting a thousand trails passed very soon, but we haven't pulled the trigger yet. As soon as we do, we'll let you guys know and we'll let you know how it's working out yep. and everything. And if you guys have a thousand trails pass and have any thoughts you'd like to share, we'd love to hear it. Um, how's it working out for you? Have you ha been able to book campgrounds without any problem lately? Yeah. That's something that I've just been thinking about because with 2020 and how everything was locked down i'm hoping this year will be different we're and just we won't hoping have any trouble but. yeah we're hoping we don't buy it and waste our money yeah. basically <laughs> but you never know it's a chance you got to take i guess exactly we might get it and hate it because I, I know a lot of part a lot of the thousand trails parks have certain areas for the members and things mm -hmm. like that and they're not always the nicest parks and but if it works out it should save us a lot of money yeah so and as we start moving along and you know once i book the place and figure out where we're going to be staying in each state going up the coast we'll let you guys know as we're moving through there and if you're like on the path maybe we can meet up yeah. that would be pretty cool we've, we've had a lot of offers you know on the east coast to stay at different places but i don't know if it's gonna work out with the route we're going to be traveling yet there's a lot of things on the east coast that we want to see Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to make a route going up the coast to see as many as we can without having to what, make too many huge detours. Yeah. The least amount of gas as possible is best. <laughs> <laughs> so keep watching guys. It is going to be an awesome summer. We're going to be taking off in about two weeks, maybe, yeah. give or take a day or so. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe below, ding that little bell so you get notifications when the videos come out. Yep, leave us a comment and always check out our social media pages so you don't miss out on extra pictures and clips. Yep, and we'll see you guys again very soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, I scared the crap out of Amy. <laughs> It's all up here. You don't need it on a computer. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, you do it. Okay. Um, we're talking about like the people we met. We're not, I'm not gonna try to name names. Don't name a names because I'm gonna forget names. There's too many names. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. Let me say something. Okay. Once we take off from Quartzart, Quartzart, Quartzart. <laughs> Now do something funny. Oh, you're funny enough. Just sit there and look funny for a minute. People will just sit here and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy.